Hello and welcome to today's video. Today uh, is a continuation of the questions from the comments uh, video series I have made. I haven't done one of these in a little bit, so uh, it's good to get back to it. Today's question is actually a question that wasn't on one of my videos. It was a, on a video of, on another channel I saw, and I just found the question to be worded in such a funny way that I wanted to address it, but also address the question. And the question was along the lines of, uh, this person had bought a fountain pen on a, a well-known Chinese uh, website and uh, kept saying it was a fake fountain pen. And while I completely know what they mean, the idea of it being a fake fountain pen made me giggle because it is still a fountain pen. It is just a knockoff or a copy of another uh, brand of fountain pen. Um, and so... That made me giggle, but I also wanted to address a couple of th three, actually, three main tips as to what you can do uh, if you are new to this hobby to avoid getting a fake. Uh, and so the first thing I wanna say is do your research. So if you are looking at getting a Lamy Safari or whatever the case may be, um, actually do the research into what you can expect what nibs come on them, uh, like features and things that you actually like with the pen. Do the research, talk to the community about what you can expect. And if you get something and you don't think it's real, do the research again. Um, like we've all occasionally bought something and gone, I'm not sure this is completely legit. And sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Uh, now early on in my fountain pen journey, uh, I got a, a, a purposefully kind of bought a knockoff of a fountain pen um, just to see what I would get. And in the end, it actually ended up being an amazing writer. But you have to decide whether that is what you want to actually go down and do. Um, but yeah, do your research first so you can know what to expect. The second tip is buy from trusted sellers. So this means buying from reliable retail stores, uh, if you're going to a brick and mortar store, like if it is a specialty pen shop or stationery shop, the chances are it will be legit. Now, some are authorized sellers uh, of particular brands. I'm talking about, for instance, here in Australia, we have Milligram and Milligram is an official Lamy seller. There are other places that sell Lamy that buy it from somewhere else and resell it. Um, so just be aware that those are some things that can happen. You are still getting a real product, but buy from trusted sellers. If you're buying online, do some research, read the reviews. Uh, once again, talk to the community. Uh, if you know, you're know you buying on eBay and there's a particular seller and they have a, a pen going, if you're not convinced, open it up to Reddit or Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, wherever your f fountain pen community is, open it up to them and say, has anyone bought from this seller before? Same thing goes for online retailers. All the big ones, Goulet, Apple Boom, uh, you know, La Cron de Comp, Anderson Pens, Van, Van Ness, like these are all really, really legit sellers. So buy from a trusted seller. Also, the other thing with that is if you're buying from a trusted seller, an authorized seller, if there are warranties, if there are guarantees, things like that, they are gonna be covered. Uh, if you buy from a reseller, uh, or if you buy on the gray market, you may not get uh, the, the warranty. A good example of this is, say, buying a Pilot Vanishing Point, uh, which in Australia can retail for the 200 to $250 mark for the standard one. Um, but you are, if that's if you buy it from a actual retailer. If you buy it on, the same pen on eBay from Japan, uh, you may be spending $120, $130, so much, much less, but you may not get the warranties and things that go along with that. So always buy from a trusted seller. The third point I make, and this is a big one and a very probably a very obvious one, but a great way to avoid buying fake fountain pens or copies or knockoffs is if the price is too good to be true, it probably is. You are not going to be able to buy a Lamy Safari for two American dollars. If they're selling it for 30 or 25, maybe. Two dollars, no. You are not gonna get a Mont Blanc 149 for $50. You are not gonna get a Lamy Dialogue 3 for $39. So if you're buying from those websites that sell them for that price, you are not getting the real deal. Now, if that's okay with you, then that's a decision you have to make. But 
I, particularly for those kinds of pens you are buying, a knockoff of something. A lot of work has gone into the design and the development of that pen, and a lot of the times that is what you are paying the big money for. It's not always the parts. A Mont Blanc 149 is made of precious resin, it is plastic. It's not a thousand dollars worth of material. You are buying the the little snowflake on the top, you are buying the name, you are buying the years of development and everything that goes on behind that. So if the price is too good for, to be true, it probably is. So those are my three tips to help you avoid buying fake fountain pens or knockoffs or copies of fountain pens. One, buy from, do your research so that you know what to expect and you know what sort of price range to expect. Two, buy from trusted sellers from trusted you know, sellers on eBay or retail stores. And then third point, if it, the price is too low, there's a chance that is because it's not real. So I hope this was interesting and useful. If it is, like and subscribe, all that kind of stuff, hit the notifications button, uh, please get in touch. If there's any way, a way you'd like to support my channel, get in touch, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, be they real or fake, and I'll talk to you soon.